Sienna. And what did you get at the shop? What did you want? On the other side of the store, me and Mia are finding it quite terrifying <laughs> yeah. because there's just all these dolls lined up just staring at us like some sort of mini robot army. Sienna? Yeah? Sienna, come here. What? Come here, Mia. Yeah. Hi Mia, I've got something to tell you too. Yeah. Right? So, you know we're in Hollywood at the moment. Mm -hmm. Well, there is this amazing place called Beverly Hills. Oh, have you ever yeah. heard of it before? Yeah, I have. have. you? Yeah. Well, apparently in Beverly Hills, there is this road or this drive called Rodeo Drive. And oh, it's meant to be where yeah. all the stars and all the celebrities do their shopping. Like, there's all designer yeah. clothes shops and that. So how do you feel about going there? Ooh, and really? having a look around? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to do that? Yeah, of course! And apparently a little birdie has told me that Juicy Couture, which sells girls clothes, I don't know if you know about Juicy Couture, they make amazing, beautiful oh, yeah. clothes. There's a sale on. <gasps> really? So I was thinking about maybe treating you to a little something from there, what do you think? Yeah! Okay then? Yeah. So this is why I told you to, to dress up nicely today. Oh, so we can try and like, maybe look a little bit like oh, yeah. the, the famous people that go shopping there. <laughs> What's good, Fizz fam? Hope you're having a wonderful day. So today is day six of our Los Hello. Angeles family vacation, mini adventure, trip of a Going lifetime, quickly, isn't, it? isn't it? I know. So we've done lots of things so far. We've gone like hiking, we've um, explored the streets Come on, of don't Hollywood. Be, don't be so casual about I it. Know. Yesterday we went for the hike of our lives. I know. We, we went, hiked up yeah. to the Hollywood sign I know. and tried to touch it. Flashback. This is it guys, we've actually made it now. The letters are in sight. Tell me if you think it was worth the hike for this view. We've like explored Hollywood, we've like gone in like Trader Joe's, which we're so excited about. But today we're gonna to be going to Beverly Hills and we're gonna to go to like the shopping center where there's all the designer shops, and then later on we might be going to another shopping place called the Grove, which is an open air like shopping mall with shops and entertainment. It sounds really amazing. We haven't really done anything like that yet on this holiday, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Daddy Fizz is looking all snazzy as well, aren't you? It you've got your shirt smart, on. You? We've got to look smart. I know it's a little bit like pretentious, you've got to look smart there, but I feel like we're in Hollywood, we're going to look a little bit Hollywood today, or Beverly Hills should I say, because I think there's a big difference between Beverly Hills and other parts of Los Angeles, isn't there guys, from what I've heard. And every time I say Beverly Hills, I always hear that song in my head, it's probably quite old for some of you guys, and it goes like, Beverly Hills, does anyone know oh, what yeah. I'm going to say? that's where I want to be. I know, so that's exactly where we want to be today, isn't it, girls? Yeah. Mia is looking all Beverly Hills today, aren't you, Mia? Are you feeling yeah. excited about this trip yeah, today? Yeah, I am. And has anyone noticed I'm wearing a jumper suit today? Oh, yeah. Do you know why? What's good about this? Do you have to take the camera down? Is it because you're going to do some painting and decorating and you've got your overalls on? <laughs> no. Like? This is really good. It allows loads of room for a real baby and then a feed baby later on. Ah, no. nice. Nice work. I know. So I just thought I'd, this is my most glamorous outfit what I've got. Shall we go then, guys? Let's go. Yeah. Shall Let's we go? Do it. Let's do it. Oh wow girls, look! You know the foundation oh, I wear? You yeah. know Kat Von D makes vegan That's makeup? There's Kat Von D's tattoo shop guys. High oh, voltage. Good. She's got so many people like on a waiting list. Nobody can make an order with her with her. Right. Because she wants to get through all those fairs. I think me and you should get like a matching one together one day. Yeah. Like a little, well, I don't know what they call it. I don't have any tattoos on I know, the tattoo you don't, virgin. Do you? Yeah, so, you don't, do you? It, yeah. Anyway, guys, yeah, so we've actually got a four-mile drive. We've got another 21 minutes left to get to Beverly Hills. So Beverly Hills, it's quite a distance away from Hollywood where we're staying. But so far, we've seen some really interesting things. There's like one guy dancing in the middle of the road while we're waiting in the traffic queue. I couldn't get the camera out in time. And then we've just seen Kat Von D's studio. And then we keep seeing loads of like fast food places we've never heard of before with really funny names like Fat Sal's. And it's just really cool, guys, getting to look around. What do you think of it so far, girls? Have you like... Cool, have you got, have you got cool. used to it being here? Yeah, I have a bit. Yeah. Well, because yeah, I have you seen. Have you got used to it? Does it feel like home now? Yeah. It's been nearly a week. Yeah. To you, yeah. it probably feels like forever because you've only really been alive six years. To me, it still feels all fresh and new, but I do feel like I'm settling in quite nicely now. Getting in the rhythm of it. It's really nice waking up early and just. We're going out and just having a really good time. Do you feel like you're settling in? Love it. Yeah. Yeah. How about with the driving on the wrong Second side of the road? Already. Well, you say wrong side of the road, that's just open to interpretation, isn't it? Like, if Americans went to England, they would say they're driving the wrong side. I know, side. but 
but you're driving you... on the right hand side. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I, I feel you look like a pro now. Yeah. You're a proper pro <laughs> I'm American. I'm driving dad. automatic. It just feels like you don't even have to do anything. I don't know how to drive, so I'm just really glad I don't <laughs> have to do it. But I am the person who's meant to be doing the directions <laughs> because um, I think we've now missed a turning, <laughs> and we probably have added another five to ten minutes onto our journey. <laughs> what did you say? Where are you from? America. Are you trying to do an American accent? Yeah. Hollywood. Oh. <laughs> and Hollywood is so much fun! <laughs> you sound quite Scottish. I just went on a holiday here. <laughs> and I live in Scotland. I like Scotland. <laughs> and I like America. Here we are, Fizz Fam. That sign there says Rodeo Drive. Oh, yeah. Or as I said last night to Daddy Fizz, Rodeo Drive. And he said, no, Geordie, it's Rodeo. I'm not certain, but I feel like I've heard it pronounced Rodeo. I reckon But I would look at that word and say it's Rodeo, wouldn't I you? I know, I know. But so, there's words like that in England. There's plenty of, where they're like the name of a place, they're pronounced different than how you would normally use the word in a different context. Or like there's a place in England called Bath, and some people say Bath. No, everyone says Bath. Oh no, people who are from there say bath, don't they? They say bath. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bath. So sometimes is it just a matter of like Hang tomato on, that or tomato? Yeah, that's literally just tomato, tomato. So is it rodeo and it is rodeo? I don't know. I just got to be careful what I, I think... say though, because I don't want to like stand out on rodeo drive and I'm just saying it wrong. <laughs> here we are on rodeo drive. <laughs> we've come down here and we've heard there's a load of shops here where a little bit posh or something. So we want to come and have a little look around and just see what we can find, see if there's any bargains or something. <laughs> if I'm super relaxed with fam, Daddy Fizz is not exaggerating. I can actually sound like. No, you don't. My, you, my your North, accent isn't that. My thick, Norfolk no. accent, though, if I spend time with like family or like if I go back to Norfolk, I, it really comes out. And, and if I I'm think really it relaxed. Does in all of us. By the way, the traffic has not been that bad since we've been here. We've been no. told it's absolutely awful. Yeah, yeah. But we've been lucky so far. So We've come out at all different plastic. times. We've I been know. out first thing in the morning. We've left at like seven in the morning. We've left at eight, we've left at nine, we've left at 10. We've never got stuck in traffic. Well, not anything out of the ordinary. It's just the no. same as any other city. I know, it's been a while, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. Well, here we go, right, so we're now, by the way, I don't even know where we're able to park, but here it is. Da -da! This is the Rodeo, Rodeo, <laughs> Rodeo Drive, guys. And we're gonna be walking along here once we pack the car up. Here we are, guys. This is it. Welcome to Rodeo Drive. Everyone's just doing a few Instagrams, aren't yeah. they? Busting out the Instagrams, <laughs> which if we haven't mentioned it about 50 times yet today, make sure to go and follow our Instagram because we are doing super regular updates. Yeah. Because basically trying to condense everything into one vlog, we just can't fit it all in there. So we're doing loads of regular updates on there at the same time. Like I said, oh, this is where like the rich and famous do their shopping. But then also, I don't know if any of you guys have seen this, but it's like a, it's like a really romantic classic by Pretty Woman. And apparently this is where Julia Roberts, when she's a character, she came shopping here. Also, oh. I don't know if any of you like, this is a really old school TV show, but it's a fresh and then he, Will, with Will Smith in it, and he actually... I remember that one. I know, it's so, co it's so cool, guys. If, <laughs> if you're really young, you haven't seen it You've before. got no idea what no. we're going on Basically, about. Basically, Hillary, his cousin, used to always go shopping here because they lived in the Beverly Hills. So that is like what I know about this area. So that's really cool. So should we just have a little look around? Yeah, and let's have a wonder. Let's have a little explore. Taking it all in, Sienna. You're just more interested in this bollard, aren't you? Yeah, should we leave you at the bollard? It's quite wobbly. It's wobbly, is it? Yeah, it's is, really this, is this bollard not up to your bollard standards, Sienna? Guys, we're just seeing all the different shops here. Like across the road, there is a Dior, and then here is the Dolce and Gabbana shop. But guess what? Can we tell the Fizz fam what we used to call ourselves? Darren and Georgie, and then we used to always say D&G, didn't we? we are, well, we are D&G. Yeah, we're D&G, aren't we? Yeah. So look how colourful the fashion is in there. It's absolutely amazing. At the moment, I'm a bit of a high street kind of gal, so I would rather spend like thousands of pounds on loads of clothes rather than like a couple of items. So like, yeah. these shops don't really appeal to me, even though I think they look beautiful and all the clothes are lovely. At the moment, I'm just like, just rather get a, a huge load of clothes from like River Island or somewhere. Are you the same, Daddy Fizz? Would you rather spend we'd like- just never spend thousands on clothes anyway. But I'm just saying, if you had the <laughs> choice though. If I had the choice, I'd spend it all on traveling. On traveling, but I'm just saying, if you wanted to get clothes though, you Would obviously you buy clothes. No, um, clothes or tons. But the few I would get a few items, items of clothes. Ah, uh, you would, would you? I would you? get a few oh, yeah. items of better quality clothes. What would you prefer, yeah. me? Uh, I'd get more clothes. Would you rather get a massive haul or rather massive one really... Ah, oh, okay haul, then. Yeah. Like, basically, guys, we were like wondering, is this a cafe though? Because there's like, appears to be some seats outside, but I think what it is, is for the husbands who are waiting exactly. for their wives. Yeah. They're just out here while yeah. they're taking their ages, trying on all their clothes and stuff. So, you know, we were walking along the Walk of Fame the other day. Well, did you know, along this Rodeo Drive, there is 
the Walk of Style. So here are some of the plaques. And this one is Catherine Martin. Film has allowed me to follow my dreams down fashion's yellow brick road all the way to Rodeo Drive. So these are probably famous fashion designers, Sienna. Apparently you've been learning about fashion designers, haven't you? Yeah. In your book about the greatest women in the world, haven't you? Yeah. What was the name of the fashion designer? Um, Coco Chanel. Yes. And what did you learn about her? Women could um, actually like have to wear uncomfortable clothes when they don't want to and men could just wear whatever they want. So what did Coco Chanel design clothes for women that were comfortable? Yeah. Wow, that's and amazing. Where, where women like wanted to wear, not like not nice ones. So clothes that women wanted to wear, not what men thought they should wear. Yeah. That's really good. So should we have a walk along here and see if we can see the Chanel shop then? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be really exciting, wouldn't it? So keep your eyes peeled, Sienna. Okay. A few moments later. There's a there's the Chanel shop. So that's originated of Coco Chanel then? Yeah, should we go and have a little look in there? If you want, yes. <laughs> Do you feel like a little look in there, Daddy? No, we're outside. We need one of the mini bags. We wanted a little mini bag. Sina really likes a little furry bag there. What yeah. do you think of everything in here? Do you think it's pretty? Yeah. Yeah? I love that pink jewelry box. It has like different little gems. I think it's a clutch bag, which is quite hard, like a hard case. Do you think that's really pretty, do you? Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? What did you think of it in there, Sienna? I thought it's amazing. Sienna was like, did she make this? Did she make this? As in Coco, did she make this? Yeah. yeah. Did she, actually, this is what Sienna first said when we went in there. She said, she's like, did she make all this stuff in here? <laughs> that was so funny. Right guys, so we nearly walked to the end of Rodeo Drive and Sienna got to look in her favorite fashion designer shop, didn't you Sienna? I've just looked on mats because we haven't been able to see GC Couture anywhere. And unfortunately it's closed. It's no longer oh. open here. There isn't a GC Couture shop according to Google oh, Maps. No. The nearest one you have to go really far out in California. So I'm really sorry we can't look in there. I was so excited about that. But we are gonna be going, I think we should head now to the open air shopping center called The Grove. It's like a really sociable place. There's like cinemas there, restaurants, shops, and it's all outdoors. So we're not like going in a shopping oh, yeah. mall indoors. Oh, and toilet. And, and a toilet. <laughs> yeah. so shall we do that then, girls? Yeah. But overall, it's been really nice to come down here. It feels a bit like Daddy Fizz said, like Dubai. Yeah. It's kind of really clean and lots of expensive shops quite quite relaxed around here but it's not really like our normal sort of thing we prefer like going for the walks or being like where there's a bit more culture if that makes sense oh we're here now guys but feeling absolutely shattered just so tired because if we haven't mentioned it enough times today <laughs> yesterday yes. we've done a really intense nine mile hike up the side of a mountain pretty much to the hollywood really sign nice. flashback yeah, i'm not joking honestly yeah, i heard that actually went yeah, I had moving from there. Run! So as a result today, just feeling so hungry and so tired. So I think we're going to go for a little refuel first. And I've just noticed that there's another veggie grill nearby. So we yes. can go and get another veggie grill. Hey guys, I was just taking photos with mum and look at this picture. It's going on my Instagram feed for sure. Oh, that's a lovely photo. I know. Yeah. What yeah. a lovely photo. Hey, photo. You're so photogenic, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> Thank oh. you, Darren. <laughs> wow, it looks lovely here. Check this out, guys. guys. Look at that. So, like I said, it's really like nice. Open air, like leisure shopping centre. Because usually what happens to Daddy Fizz, he likes being out in the open with the sun when you go on holiday. So this is like the perfect place. Yeah. Isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah. Guys, yeah. guys. Oh, it's a carpet. Carpet. If carpet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh. It's actually a carpet, a real life carpet. It's so clean as well. Oh. Have a roll on it, Dad. Go on. Oh. Just sitting at Veggie Grill, guys, waiting for our food to come out. And Mummy's just said that she thought that she could feel Barnaby moving. So I don't know whether he's like anticipating the food coming up, isn't he? Probably. Honestly, he's getting, he loves the Veggie Grill like already. I feel like he's had a massive little wriggle of excitement. Oh wow! <laughs> so cute. Tomorrow is going to be 18 weeks, by the way. So I we know. need to do another update. The start has just arrived, guys. We've got buffalo wings to get Ooh, started with. Buffalo wings. Yeah, buffalo. But buffaloes don't have wings. Um, no, they don't. <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain that. I one. don't know why they're called buffalo wings because even if they're not meat, they're usually like a bird's wing. So where does the buffalo come into it? I don't know. What, there you go. Weird? There you go. That's your question of the day. Leave your answers below. Why are they called buffalo wings? All 
of the food has arrived now. So Daddy's got this burger with a pretzel bun on, which you've never yeah. had before. Yeah. Mia's got a wrap. Sienna's got a kid's meal there. Look at that. That looks a really decent kid's meal, isn't it? And Mummy Fizz has copied Daddy Fizz, and I've gone for the burger as well. But then I've got some coleslaw instead of fries. We've got desserts now as well. Carrot cake. Oh. Cookie, brownie. Oh. The sin's got carrot yeah, cake. Yeah, look at that carrot there. cake, guys. Feeling full of energy again now. So now we're going to go back and actually take on this little exploration around the shopping mall again, aren't we? So here we are, guys. We're in the thick of the grove. Up ahead is like loads of shops and there's a water fountain up here. There's some more shops and restaurants around. They've kind of made it seem a little bit like, I've never been here before, but like what Disneyland is like or a theme park. And it's very American and very, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it's a bit like they've made it seem like a mini little yeah, town? Yeah. yeah, it does seem It's like really that, yeah. nice feel. It's quite nice, actually. And I've just spotted some a shop, which you, some of you guys in the comments said we must take Take Sienna in there and it's called American Girl. So here is an American Girl shop. Yeah, what it is basically, I don't know why, but they have this thing in America where they're like obsessed with these dolls. Oh. Um, I remember when I used to do my blog, I followed this blog who was all obsessed with it. So okay yeah. then. Mia said there's a shop to do with dolls. Look, and here it's got it is. like a little Ibo wow. mini robot. I hope this is like a shop where it covers girls to like I don't know, the astronauts and scientists. It's quite a good shop for Sienna, that's what it looks like. It's in a space station. Yeah. Shall we go have a look inside? Yeah. yeah. Come on then. What do you think of the shop, Sienna? Oh, that looks cute. Oh, wow, what's that, Sienna? Turn the handle, look inside to get a peek at space camp. Oh, you can't actually get in there. Oh, that's a shame. We're going to explore other places then, shall we? Yeah. Wow, doesn't that look cool? There's a little robot one. On the other side of the store, me and Mia are finding it quite terrifying <laughs> yeah. because there's just all these dolls lined up just staring yeah. at us like some sort of like, mini robot army. Well, like, hair. Yeah, when you're just having a standoff with them all, just it's like staring it's a bit at you. Creepy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Daddy Fish, look, you can even get crutches for your doll. Oh, in case there's crutches. Little... Have you heard a trip or a fall? Talk <laughs> later. <laughs> Charlotte wish What's going on here, guys? You having a nice time? Oh, you're right. Yeah, are you? Yeah. If any of you guys wanted a true resemblance of what Mia and Sienna looked like when they were a baby, this is exactly what Mia looked like. And this is exactly what Sienna looked like. <laughs> yeah, it is. Isn't it? I'm not joking. I'm seriously so alive. Hey, Sienna. Hi. And what did you get at the shop? What did you want? This little book here. Ah. Camille's Mermaid Tales. That's a book that's going to help you to read, isn't it? Oh, wow. Okay, then. So you've got your little holiday present and you're going to be reading that in the evenings, aren't you, with Mummy, Daddy and Mia? Yeah. Yeah? So, Mia, have you got an idea of what you'd like to get from this oh, little holiday treat? I was thinking I might get a book as well because I've actually almost finished my second book that you got me. Oh, what, the Malala book? Yeah, so I think I'm going to get another book. Yeah, yeah? okay then. Because we've literally got another three weeks here, haven't we, as well? Yeah. Daddy Fizz, Mia wants to get a book well, as well, so we need to look for a bookshop. Uh, Barnes and Noble literally right in front what, of you. Is that a bookshop? Yeah, yeah. So we're now going into another American shop. I hope it is and I apologise if it's not, which we've never been into before. So this is quite cool because we're actually yeah. going into like shops we don't normally get Secretly, to go into. Secretly, that, yeah. that last shop was actually quite fun. I know. It was really fun. <laughs> it was. Thank you for the recommendation. Don't tell anyone, right? Lots of freaky dolls in there, but I can see the appeal though. It's very yeah. girly and because cute. all of like, they even have like little mobile phones which is super cute. And I look at those Chinese dragons. Ooh, it's going to be the Chinese New Year soon, girls. So we're now going to go in a bookshop, guys. And guess what? If you don't know this, I am in love with the smell of new books. Daddy Fizz, there's a book for you. Because <laughs> <laughs> it matches your shirt, oh, yeah. that's why. Yeah. matches your shirt. Me and Sienna are just in the baby like book section and pregnancy books. And then Sienna's, I've been looking at some of the bump books. And then Sienna found this book called I'm a Big Sister. And what did you say? I'm her, look. Oh, oh. that's so sweet for you to say. Like, yeah. It's helping the baby. It's a really good yeah. book that is as well, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, should we go and find Mia and see what book she's into, shall we, Sienna? Yeah. Come on. Oh, hi. Hi. What Where have you found? Um, I've actually found some really good books, so Ooh. there's a couple of books I've been looking My at. Life is Eva. She's another YouTuber, yeah. isn't she? Yeah, or is she on Instagram? No, she's a YouTuber. <laughs> is she, she's on Instagram as well? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, and yeah, then Casper Lee's book. Well. Wow. Yeah. So do you fancy getting one of those? Yeah. Which one smells the nicest? Because that's how I choose in the end. It smells nice. Yeah? Which one's more on point, though? 
I know. <laughs> and Molly Jake, you, you shouldn't actually go by what it smells like. It's another <laughs> take on choosing, judging the book by its cover, isn't it? So, Mia, yeah. what book did you go through the end? I actually went for two books in the Ooh. end. So, I got, first book I got is this one. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Tea. That sounds good. It's just a person to fill up the book. The grown up one of that. Yeah. Seven oh, Habits of Highly Effective Tea. Yeah. Then the next book I got is uh, Casper You went for the Casper Lee one. Yeah. She so ended up getting another book. Daddy Fizz ended up getting a book, and I ended up getting a book as well. We just went book crazy there because they all smelled so good. Sienna went for that one I in the end. This one because if it had to be like that, I already got one and I had this yeah. one. Yeah. But it's about being a big sister, yeah. isn't it? It's like yeah. where they feed the baby in that. Oh, that's nice then. So you two have got some more books to read whilst we're away yeah. and do learning. And my turn, my turn. Okay. I've got Gary Beasley oh. book crushing it, which is not even out in the UK. So Good old Gary. I'm really excited about and that. And then basically, guys, I'll talk to you about this more in the future, but I can't have a home birth. So I've got a book about having a natural hospital birth because I really want to have a natural birth. So there are some ways you can do it in a hospital setting. But anyway, we'll save that for a, a baby feed a video. Yeah. A Bump day, anyway. So I think it's time to go back now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you had a good time? Yeah. yeah. I've had a brilliant. Yeah. You have a good time, Sienna. Yeah. Amazing time. Have a good time, this fam. Have you? Yeah. That's going to be the end of today's video, guys. Sienna's super close because we've had to stand her on the books, so we've got the camera on this shelf of this um, Los Angeles Police Department little hut thing. So I hope they don't mind. If you're new around here, click subscribe and join the Fizz Fam. We make a video every single day of the year. For now, we're now going to switch over to Instagram as we sign off this video. So if you haven't followed our Instagram yet, go follow us at Family Fizz over there as we show you the rest yeah. of our day. Yeah. But other than that, we'll look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>